What's up, Refam? Time for another update, finally. Sorry I've been uh, delayed on a lot of these things, but I got a lot of things to update you on um, and why some of the delays occurred. But let's start off with the peninsula. Everything looks great on it. Everything's going in well. Uh, it's, I can't say anything better about any of the equipment on here. Uh, things just been, just been smooth sailing and awesome. Hopefully it stays that way. Hopefully I didn't curse myself. Let me knock a wood or something here. Um, but got a few updates to the peninsula. Got updates on some other things that were in the works. And uh, finally made some progress on them. So let's get started. I'll just make a quick spin around on the peninsula. And then I'll show you the new addition to the peninsula. And then fill you in on some of the other stuff. Let's get going. All right, guys, so as you can see, sorry about the glare from the light outside, but everything is growing in and everybody is doing awesome in here. I did move a few things around. I had to frag some of the Sinuleras because they were getting pretty huge. Um, started adding some frags, SPS frags up there. Um, but as you can see, things are growing in well, getting nice and large. And hopefully, um, the few additions that I've added in, some of the frags that are hard to get on camera, um, but maybe once they grow in and get brighter, uh, will grow in more and fill this baby out big time. But as you can see, it's, it's been doing awesome. It's been doing awesome. Uh, I've played around with my husbandry over here. So here and there, I do Usually I do uh, water changes once a week, but uh, sometimes I'll throw in additional water change here and there just to kind of help out. As you can still see, I still get the red slime algae on the bottom, but overall it's sticking to the sand bed and I'm not having any problems. Coloring uh, is doing great on the SPSs. Everything is just getting ginormous. I think I need to take some branches off of this thing soon. But everything is doing awesome. Uh, I can't complain at all. Sorry about the dim lighting. It's early in the light cycle, so everything's still ramping up. But the tank is doing awesome. So as for the addition to this new baby, the lights are a little dim right now. But I've attached a new frag tank to fill in this space and also hide some of the things in the cabinet. So I got a... 11 gallon Fiji cube that I plumbed into 
the actual peninsula so it's same water everything else um, put some of the Signalera frags and it's basically gonna be eventually a full-on frag tank right now it has some of the softies um, some LPS's a few SPS's that uh, frags that I fragged out of the main tank um, probably will hold more I have actually a frag rack that's gonna go in here eventually um, don't worry about the tang in there he's actually a new addition that's going into the peninsula um, I have him in here just to make sure he's eating correctly and doing all right getting him used to me and just fattening him up a little bit before I move him over to the uh, into the peninsula uh, the six line ras he'll stay in here uh, with the frags just to have something swimming around in there picking off whatever and just you know so have it you know cleaning up doing his thing uh, but that's the new frag tank uh, added this around Thanksgiving time so it's been up and running for a little while now uh, with nice AI uh, I think the 32s uh, HD 32s on here light uh, lighting it up and it's doing great uh, the stand I ended up getting a kitchen cabinet stand from IKEA and reinforced it with some plywood and uh, in the back and on the bottom and top just to sturdy it up some more um, these are uh, manufactured wood so you gotta make sure not to get them wet at all so it's more than capable of handling the weight of this but I wanted to just reinforce it because the back of them is usually doesn't have anything so I reinforce it with plywood as well on top and bottom just to make sure everything is nice and safe but it makes it a little nicer view back here that no longer do I have a gap and a water reservoir container on the bottom now the water reservoir container is hidden in the cabinet as well as some of the supplements and stuff I use so uh, it ends up filling that space out pretty well and just giving you something additional to look at but it's it's looking great it turned out awesome I can't say anything uh, I can't be happier that's that's for sure now later on uh, I was eventually I was supposed to tell you how much I love these Echo Tech lights the, the new G5 pros and I do love them they're awesome um, I actually ordered additional ones for the surprise coming up later on in this video um, but uh, I kind of shot myself in the foot because after I ordered it uh, it's gonna be hard to see it on the video so I'll try to uh, throw in a clip somewhere in the video around here of one of the LEDs is actually out on one of the units so I have to contact Ecotech and see what they're uh, gonna do about it because these lights aren't that old. They're still in the warranty, so I'm sure they're gonna replace it um, But one of the additional Ecotec lights that I got as out of the box had some cracks on the on the face plate and I know this was a issue in the beginning with them and they addressed it, but for it does piss me off that with expensive lighting yeah, with such expensive lighting that I even have to worry about this kind of stuff already. Um, my my Kessels, I've never had any issues with any of the Kessels I've bought and um, AT, uh, other fixtures never had any issues so it's kind of just it's kind of annoying having to deal with something like this and I had this issue with their with their power heads and that's why I stopped using them. By the way um, if you're looking for some power heads these AIs, uh, like the Neuro 5s are machines, um, and I can't say anything but good things about them. I'm not even as good as maintaining them as I, I was with my um, Ecotec Vortec pumps, and these things are just uh, tanks. Um, as you can see, I did add a max spec uh, power head as well recently, just to get more flow. The one thing about the AIs, uh, I w or the Neuro 5s, I wish, they just came out with a new, uh, like, less powerful version. I just wish it'd come out with a more powerful version for people with peninsulas to just give us, you know, a little more flow. They're awesome, and I'll be, I would be all over a more powerful version of this guy, uh, just to get more flow. So, uh, I doubt they're listening to this video, but if they are... Help us out and give us a more powerful pump for peninsulas 
and larger tanks uh, because we'd really love it. I did add a anemone guard to both of them on this tank just because I do have a rainbow bubble tip that my clowns are hosting at and it's going to be hard to pick up but they've been laying eggs consistently beside there. Of course I don't have a setup for it to for them to really hatch and survive but it's been interesting and cool seeing that happen um but other than that everything is doing awesome i can't complain and hopefully it keeps doing it keeps doing great because i want this thing to grow out and just look amazing now that since we got this new frag tank over with let's let's move on to the other big surprise of this video welcome to the new surprise don't mind the doors uh, they're go they're going to be put on once I'm done with plan uh, basically installing some stuff down here. But during the Black Friday sale for Waterbox, I ended up ordering a brand new uh, 220.6, and it came in around Thanksgiving time. But um, unfortunately, due to some things, updates have been delayed, uh, and I got a few things to go over with you because. I'm hoping this purchase I don't regret. I have, I love the way it looks and I love the way it's turning out, but I've had a few issues uh, come up from the beginning of purchase of this thing that I hope are not a signal of what's to come. Now, I did buy the lights separately at the time I purchased this, they didn't offer any of the Ecotech lights on their, um, on their site, so I bought the lights separately. I decided to go with two XR30 Pros and two XR15 Pros um, on here. And uh, they should be more than enough lighting to cover this. I'm not gonna supplement with T5s. I wanted a more sleek look um, for this and probably will hang some stuff up on the wall up there uh, to, just to get the look, to, you know, to make the area, sitting area look great. This actually used to be the dining room, um, but since we never used the dining room, we decided to get rid of it and make it into a seating slash fish tank viewing area. Um, it's a little lacking on furniture because we're waiting for the stuff to come in. Uh, table came in, but there's going to be seats all around uh, or a little love seat here and some individual seats there. Uh, so it should turn out awesome. Hopefully, uh, if the vision comes out right, definitely change up the lighting and everything else. Uh, can't wait to get this thing filled and up and going. The rock structure is done and waiting for everything to dry up. Um, ended up using the E-Macro stuff again for the rocks on this tank like I did with the Peninsula, except this time it did horribly. So I had to reinforce it with some putty um, I don't know what's up with the E-Macro, came out very watery and didn't hold at all even after it dried. It barely held in place. So I don't know if it was just a bad batch or their quality went down since I did the Peninsula, but just keep a lookout. You might have to find a different option to uh, basically adhere your rock together. Now let's get to the issues that I had with the water box. And which ended up delaying the whole up setup and updates and everything else. Um, because as you know, now it's December 17th today, and I received this tank a few days before Thanksgiving. Why is it just, you know, getting set up? Why is it just, uh, why am I just updating you now about this? Well, let's start with that, off with the first issue. First issue is I was putting the stand together. Um, oh, just a heads up. Instructions aren't, to begin with, since I have a couple Red Sea tanks, the instructions on this are not as straightforward as the Red Sea tank. So, um, and not that it's a problem. Uh, I'm not one who has an issue with not having instructions and putting things together. So, um, it wasn't an issue for me, but for some people it might be. So the instructions definitely um, were a little lacking compared to Red Sea. Um, also, 
the main issue I ended up having was one of the sorry one of the pieces that uh, let me find it here where'd it go so all right hold on one second all right so one of the pieces when as I was installing it and turning the lock piece uh, the lock fittings on um, I was using a screwdriver turning them normally um, and it ended up popping the veneer off of multiple holes so contacted uh, Waterbox uh, they asked me for some asked me some questions and offered me two options either give me some money back because it's not a structural issue or replace the piece I opted to replace the piece because this would mess with my OCD I wanted a perfect tank like I did with the Red Sea Peninsula so I said no replace me a piece uh, so which they did and you know no question they, it was not a problem no charge nothing they sent me another piece and it was great you know their customer service I can't say anything but good things about because they were responsive and uh, sent me the parts everything went well everything went great um so I got the stand together uh let me let's switch back to the tank so I got the stand together and ready um and finally got everybody I needed to move this heavy baby onto the tank so we moved the heavy tank on um well I unwrapped the tank and moved it on here and then was inspecting the tank and found a few things that were worrisome um one is this pane of glass over here has a few tiny scratches that uh obviously came uh on the tank and it's gonna be hard to capture on camera but I'll, th I'll try to throw some little photo clips with them circled um, nothing too crazy like you can't it's gonna be hard to see unless you look close like carefully and I don't think yeah I can't really catch that with the camera um, but I'll, I'll, I'll try to throw some pictures where it's circled but that was it that was a couple of them on this one thankfully nothing on the front uh, but just on here so that was kind of annoying because uh, I wanted a uh, perfect tank and I unfortunately I wasn't gonna have to have them replace bring another one because I didn't want to bring a new, whole new crew to sit there and try to move this sucker back in because this thing is almost a 500 pound tank it was a little heavy so that was a problem also one thing that I had to verify with them I don't know if I could catch it on camera but as you can see it looks like there's bubbles along here so I had to email them and uh, it, uh, it's basically all around the tank you know I had to email them to make sure you know everything was okay and this is nothing I have to be worried about so thankfully they came back and said because of their floating bottom design or something that was just normal um, this is how they get it to sit more flush against the, uh, the stand um, so that's nothing to be worried about according to them um, uh, overall I'm happy with the tank I just think that Red Sea is a little cleaner on the silicone at least the residue that I left behind I had to scrape some of the silicone that was in some areas um, I guess where it accidentally got smeared on or something um, but just the you know those things kind of kind of like were I don't know kind of disappointment for at least my first impression um, just because I was so excited about this tank and I decided to try out Waterbox instead of just sticking to Red Sea which I know with my last two tanks have been nothing but perfect out of the box um, so other than that like it, now that it's on the stand everything looks awesome I like their sump their sump is great I don't like how they don't have they don't have uh, bulkheads on the bottom it's like a, it's a different design it just made it a little more of a pain to get the plumbing in um, and just being confident that it's not gonna leak anything so I did dump some water into the overflow just to make sure they're not leaking um, I, the, the stand itself looks great uh, you know the additional water reservoir also awesome like 
like it was with the Red Sea, it doesn't come with a cover, so I'd, I'm gonna have to get a cover to just prevent the evaporation. As you can see, I already got it another uh, Nero powerhead because um, those things, like I said, are awesome. So I need to get another one because uh, I'm gonna run two of them on here. Uh, got my ATO and just the best scrapers you can get for any of the tank. If you're looking for a scraper, I've been addicted addicted to these and I've had them on every one of my tanks. I love them. Um, so, but as you can see, everything is good. Let's see. If, let me see if I can turn on the lights for right now. I don't know if the, yeah. there we go. Um, there. I already have them programmed uh, to the Mobius app, so this is early in the light cycle, life, uh, light cycle, but it's gonna look awesome once it's done. Um, I, I'm excited. I can't wait. I got. I just have to contact Ecotech to get a few things resolved to, for the lights, but um, this is this is gonna be a sweet setup. I'm hoping to get the doors on soon eventually i'm going to get a controller for this tank like i have on the peninsula uh you know once i i save up a little more but the next next thing on in line is going to be a, a, another power head for this um this is going to house my lionfish possibly my huma trigger um i'm most likely rehoming my snowflake eel because He's not very fun. Uh, he's always hiding out. I also have a blue face angel that I've been uh, keeping a secret that I've had for, I want to say like seven to eight months now. He's already changed to colors and doing very well. So he's going to come in here. I'll probably throw in some tangs. If I can get a hold of an emperor angel at the same time, I'll probably throw him in, but we'll see. I uh, try to create a lot of caves and uh, places for them to hide and get away from whatever they need to get away from just you know to make the fish more comfortable around here uh, so it should be a good home for them uh, these are yeah, I'm definitely gonna put some of uh, the corals in here as well uh, so a lot of the top layer you're gonna see it's gonna be most likely I'm gonna have to try out see what corals are gonna work with that blue face angel but I'm going to try out some softies, SPSs, and LPSs in here as well and see, you know, what he doesn't go after. Uh, hopefully, you know, he doesn't nip at everything, but we'll find out. Um, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this update. I was going to update on the, the Nano Max since I haven't updated on that in a while. But I think that I'm going to save that for the next update because that finally... Uh, Finally got to the point where I had, could add fish and uh, I had some clowns in there and a lemon peel um, dwarf angel and they've been doing great. So I think next update I'll throw an update on the Nano Max for you guys. But until the next update, hope you enjoy and I'll see you the next time when I'm filling this in with uh, some salt water.